All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to fix a leak occurring in between a hose and a gauge or a transmitter and a hose. You have a leak occurring at the swivel on a high pressure hose. The first thing to do is to see, do you have a high pressure spool? So a high pressure spool is a small little piece of metal that has a hole going right through the center and it has two o-rings this is required to seal on the inside of high pressure hoses whether we're using a gauge or we're using an spg uh, when you uh, this is most commonly seen when we take a transmitter uh, that was originally plugged right into a first stage and then put it on a hose the, the diver didn't realize they didn't need uh, or that they needed a high pressure spool so when you purchase your high pressure spool, there's a few different variations. The most common right now is the flange spool. You're gonna just put a little bit of lubricant, some silicone on either side, rub it in, insert the spool, tighten up. So anytime we're working with hoses and fittings on scuba equipment, not a bad idea to use two wrenches but also don't feel like you gotta go crazy tight here. Just a little bit past hand tight It's all you need. Then you can pressurize. And then bubble check. Everything's good to go. Sometimes if you find that you still, uh, some SPGs just seem to be a little bit finicky and they'll still give you the tiniest, tiniest little stream. What I found is just reseeding it. So go through this whole process again, tighten it down, uh, pressurize it, that'll fix it. Other times I actually have to physically change the O-ring on that high pressure spool. Um, but this is how you uh, resolve that problem. Hope this was helpful.